Welcome to the final video in this tutorial on punch landscape design. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to finish off your design by adding plants and adding furniture. I'm also going to show you how to render your final image at a better quality so you can export it and show it to your clients. Now if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is start adding some furniture. So I'm going to go to 3D objects. Um, one of the things that we're going to have here is an outdoor fireplace. So hold on, let me go back to the 2D. I know that I want a outdoor fireplace over here, kind of in the middle of this. I'm actually going to add a sectional over here as well. So we're going to go down to furniture and try to find a sectional. Here is one right there. Now you can see this is oriented the wrong direction. So I'm going to go over here to the rotate tool. I'm going to spin this around. Just like that. Put this right in the corner of my patio. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to put this right inside of that border. Now this is a bit of a small sectional, so we're going to add another piece to it on the side. To make this more like a nine foot sectional, which is pretty large, but it, uh, it's going to fit really nicely here. So. Okay, and this is kind of like the modular sectionals that you see a lot of places. You can add pieces to it, um, put it in different configurations, so it um, it's kind of pretty realistic here. So I'm actually going to take away this side seat. Looks a little bit cramped, so there you go. That looks perfect. Uh, and then we have the fire pit right here, right in front of it, which is going to be nice. What I'm actually going to do is just copy all of this furniture. Um, I actually did this design already. This is just to show you um, the whole process behind it. So I already have all the furniture set here. I'm just going to go to this other design, copy that. And then let me see, I'm going to zoom out. Not that far. Oops. There you go. And then I'm going to paste it all in. So here's all the furniture that I had in the other design. What you can do, it just you go to these furniture uh, furniture tabs here. You can browse or you can put in whatever furniture you want. But a lot of times you have to reorient, um, you know, the direction of the seats, that kind of thing. This table here, it comes as a table with separate chairs, so you have to rotate each chair to the direction that you want to put it. So. That part kind of takes a little while. It's a little bit annoying, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. And then once you've done enough designs, um, you'll have other projects where you can just copy and paste the same furniture in there, and you don't have to mess with um, you know setting chairs around a table, which can take a while. Okay, so let's see, we also have this table that's going to go right in the middle of our deck kind of close to the railing we just have a, a two chair set with a coffee table or a uh, end table in the middle that's going to go right there in the middle and then we have a grill which is going to go over here right in front of this wall so let's take a look at that Okay, so you can see it really coming together now. Now the last thing that we have to do is just add some plants. We can also change the siding and the trim on the house so it looks more like what the house looks like now. So let me get that. All we're going to do for plants is go to the plants tab. 
and they have all different types of plants here. You can go to hedges, you can go to ornamental grasses, perennials, shrubs, all kinds of stuff. So um, again, I already did this design, so instead of scrolling through to find what you want, um, they have a lot of different plants. They don't have everything, but they do have a lot of different stuff. So if you can't find what you want and you know that's uh, available in your area, what I usually do is I will just put something in there that's about the same size and color and it gives the client a good enough idea of what you're going to actually install. Um, you know, And then I usually accompany these designs with some actual pictures of projects that we've done so they can see actually what everything's going to look like. So again, this is the design that I already finished. I'm going to just copy all of these plants and then hit paste. Now I can just drag them right over here because they're all pretty much in the right spot, most of them. So let me just mess around with a couple of these. So in this raised bed we have, these are some hostas. Just some nice, easy to take care of um, plants here. And then I have a crepe myrtle going in the middle of this raised bed. Over here we have some golden thread cypress along with some more hostas, a um, couple of those cypress, and then we have some uh, photinia on the side. So now that I've added the plants, you can really start to see it totally come together. Uh, Again, they have a ton of different plants, so for that, it's super easy. You just go to the 2D uh, side, and right now I'm on shrubs, so I would just drag it from that box, drop it right there. That's your plant. You just move it around to wherever you want. You can also play around with, um, let me see. They have a tool of how long it's been planted, so you can change it to see what it's going to look like. There you go, in five years, it's going to be a little bit bigger. So you can play around with that. That works really well with some of the trees that they have on here. Um, you can really see what that's going to look like. I'm going to go back and make this a little bit smaller. But that's pretty much it. Let me just go, last thing, I will go to the uh, material tab here which is up on the inspector. Go to siding, the siding is white, so I'm gonna add it to all exterior perimeter walls, and then I'm gonna to go to colors, and pick white, and I'm going to just change all this window trim. So you can go to all window trim in this structure, it's gonna change all the windows at the same time, all window lattice. Do the same thing with the doors, all door trim in this structure, and all door panels in this structure. So that's pretty much it. You can see, you know, with a little bit of practice, there are some areas that are a little bit of a pain, but you can see, you know, you can see this whole project come together pretty quickly. Uh, this took me maybe, you know, an hour with uh, explaining everything as I go. So it, uh, it's a really good tool. It's called Punch Landscape Design. You can get it on their website for about $60. Um, super simple to compare to some of the other programs and it gives clients a good enough idea of what it's going to look like like i said i always accompany this with actual pictures of the pavers of the decking uh, sometimes take them to some jobs to show them you know what the decking is going to look like in person that kind of thing but it really gives you a great look at the layout of the space how it's going to function you know what furniture you can fit where which is a huge thing so that's pretty much it. And then you can fly around. You can, uh, the last thing you'll want to do before you take any pictures is go to this render final quality. That's going to put in your shadows, everything like that. And then all I do after I render it, I'm on a Mac, so I just hit the screenshot button just like that. It's uh, just about done rendering, and you can see it's, it gets a nice clear picture. And then just like that, take a snapshot of the, uh, of the desktop and let me see if I can find where that went 
I have these set to just go to my desktop, which I should probably change because my desktop is a mess, but here you go. Found it. There's my screenshot. That's the finished product. You can take all the different views that you want. Another one that I like to do is go in with the walkthrough tab, go through, you can get like some cool angles, you know, and show the customer what it's kind of like to be on the deck. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher, look down, you know, I can even back up a little bit. So this is basically standing right at the grill. You know, you can see what it would actually be like to be on this deck, which is really cool. So clients love this. It's fun to mess around with too, which is cool. Um, and it lets you see some of the design flaws that you might have had um, in your original design, if it's just on pen and paper. Once you put furniture in it, you might notice, okay, there's not really enough room for this or that here. So um, yeah, try it out. Let me know below if you have any questions about it and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks a lot. So that's it for our tutorial on punch landscape design. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment and I'll answer them. Again, this program is pretty cheap. Um, it's pretty easy to get started with and I hope this helped at least try to get your first design created. Now, if you like this video, please check out our other videos. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and let me know what other information you'd like to see a video on. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.